used to say, turn out to be still is because she's curved. Lots of curves on her and no vertical surfaces, and that's what they, the, the P2 is the same. But of course, the great Roy Chadwick, who designed this aircraft in 1946, and it first flew in 1952, uh, so it was only 11 years after he uh, first flown the Lancaster, and yet they might be in different centuries, these two aeroplanes. And of course, I don't think he can possibly have known about stealth, but somehow he just managed to get it right. noise again in a minute. Wonderful shadow flitting over the sheds on the far side of the air. Triangular shape. Well, not quite as much noise as I thought this time. Uh, he should be going into a spiral climb. If you're looking uh, at her through binoculars, you may see that the air brakes are out. That's the air brakes. They stick out top and bottom of the wings. Um, actually, he may have decided not to do the spiral climb. Um, but when he does that, they stick the air brakes out, because if he doesn't, she'll be up to 10,000 feet before you know where she is. But uh, perhaps no spiral climb today. We shall see. Uh, I can see the air brakes out now, because she's going to, uh, we hope, take part in the... Uh, Climbing like 
a homesick angel. And I misled you. I said he was going to do an overshoot on the landing direction. He did it in the opposite direction. Now the gear's coming down again, and this will be in for her landing. Uh, because she's uh, got a really nice long runway here, she doesn't need to use her braking parachute, which is a shame really, because it's always rather nice to see. But it is rather expensive, as we put every time it's used, so don't use it when we don't have to. But I'm sure we shall see Kev holding the, the nose wheel off for as long as he can, and presenting the huge area of that delta wing to the oncoming airflow, so as to slow her down without overusing the brakes. I should just say some of the people who've been involved, Sir Jack Haywood, Union Jack Haywood, Eddie Forrester of Aerobikes, people who've contributed wonderful amounts of money. Also, big support from the Civil Aviation Authority, from Marshall Aerospace, they're the engineering authority. And their companies such as AD Holdings, AirBP, BAE Systems, EADS, Goodrich, Judd Power, Kearsley Airways, Messier, Doughty, Rolls-Royce and Serco. I'd mention EADS there, lovely to see the Royal Air Force's newest aircraft, the Voyager, on the field today. So here with Vulcan and Voyager, we have two of the famous V names present here at the Royal International Air Tattoo. But of course, most of the money has come from you, has come from the great British people. So please do find some way of keeping that up and keeping this wonderful old lady flying for as long as we possibly can. Don't forget, everybody said it could never be done. Some people are saying it's gonna fail any time now. We think she's got a guardian angel who's been inattentive. Sometimes she forgets, but she's so far always come back in time. She's just about to touch down. So we'll look for little puffs of smoke as the main wheels touch down. Just holding her off. Not even any pumps of sweat, a very, very smooth landing. 16 wheels down, two to go. And let's see how long they'll keep the nose wheels off the ground. Slowing down, looking at some great, enormous, prehistoric creature. How beautiful. How absolutely smashing is that? Back to Earth.